Hello everybody, this is my little friend Marco, the Papillon, who's helping me do a little reading today. Luke 6, as you've never heard it before. I was wondering why the Lord kept prompting me, Luke 6, Luke 6, read Luke 6, and uh, another passage as well. Well, as soon as I got here, I'm like, oh, I understand. So I'm going to read it in a way that applies to what's going on right now. Um, and uh, you'll get it. You'll get it. Luke 6. Complete Jewish Bible. Starting on verse 6. On another Shabbat, when Yeshua had gone into the synagogue and was teaching, a man was there who had a shriveled hand. The Torah teachers and the Purushim watched Yeshua carefully to see if he would heal on Shabbat so that they could accuse him of something. But he knew what they were thinking and said to the man with the shriveled hand, Come up and stand where we can see you. And he got up and stood there. Then Yeshua said to them, I ask you now, what is permitted on Shabbat? Doing good or doing evil? Saving life or destroying it? Then after looking around at all of them, He said to the man, hold out your hand. As he held it out, his hand was restored. But the others were filled with fury and began discussing with each other what they could do to Yeshua. Okay, so now for our times. On another Supreme Court nominee hearing, when Judge Brett had gone into the chambers and was speaking, there was a man there. There were multitudes there who had been denied justice, who had been marginalized, who had been minimized, who had been cast aside, who had been trying all their life to do life with only one hand because the law did not free their other hand to work. You see where I'm going with this? The power of a judge to liberate those who are oppressed, those who are disenfranchised, to those who are trying to do as well as they can with what they've got. Um, and what they've got is not a lot. Whereas traditionally society takes even what they have from them. All right, so uh, there, was a, there was one there, a representative one, who was marginalized, disenfranchised, and so on. So the... Uh, Democrats, the evildoers, the demons were riding in on their people, stirring them up to murder, hatred, and evil, and they watched Judge Brett very carefully to see if he would heal, if he would rule in favor of those who were in trouble, in favor of those who were powerless in, a, in one way or another, and according to the law, and according to the law of mercy. The Lord says His mercy triumphs over judgment. And this is the heart that Judge Brett brings to the Supreme Court. It's holy, it's honorable, it's good, and uh, I support him, as if that weren't obvious. <laughs> All right, so he knew, Judge Brett knew what they were thinking, and so he said to the one that was weak, powerless, disenfranchised, come up here and stand where we can see you. He identifies those who have been pushed aside. He identifies those that are being murdered and more. So he identifies them. So they, they get up and they stood there. Then Brett said to them and to the whole convening, I ask you now what's permitted in this chamber? What is permitted on this court to do good or do evil? to save life or destroy it. Then after looking around at all of them, he said to the powerless, hold out your hand. And after he ruled, after he rules, they, help, they hold out their hands and their hands are restored. They are empowered rather than disempowered. And that made those in the chambers whose demons were riding them to force murder, to force hatred, to force and perpetrate evil. It filled them with fury 
and they began discussing with each other what they could do to judge Brett. So that's today's reading of Luke 6, 6 through 11. I, Lord, I just pray for Judge Brett right now. I pray for the entire Kavanaugh family. Lord, I thank you that you've chosen a valiant warrior to come into this time. I thank you that he's mightily, mightily aware of those who have been stripped of their power as if they'd had one hand taken away from them. And not only had it been taken away from them, but it's unsightly, it's embarrassing, is a source of mockery with others, and that you have sent him in to rule as you would with mercy, to bring justice to the poor, the outcast, and the downtrodden. And I uh, invite you, Lord, uh, to send your angels, your heavenly host, to break down every wall that is stopping him from entering into that place. Break down every stronghold, principality, territorial spirit through your heavenly hosts who are more than equipped and able to do that very thing. Tear it down, tear it down, tear it down, and let the man be confirmed as the next Supreme Court Justice. We thank you, Lord. And we say, your word has all the answers, all the time. And it's fitting for the present day. And that's all I got. Thank you. God bless you. appreciate you listening. Say bye, Marco. Bye. <laughs> he doesn't know how to say bye, so there you go. Bye.